Our objective for this lesson is to be able to convert between normal numbers and standard form, such as in the examples on this page. So firstly, what is standard form? It's basically a way to write really large or really small numbers in a way that's a lot easier to compare. So for example, the average distance between Earth and Mars is 7.83 times 10 to the 10 meters. And the average distance between Earth and Neptune is 4.35 times 10 to the 12 meters. Now if I was to write them as normal numbers, they would be really, really big and very difficult to compare. But I can see using these that the distance between Earth and Neptune has got a bigger power of 10, hence it is a bigger distance, about 100 times larger. So the rules of standard form. If you're converting a number into standard form, it has to be written as just like this, where a is a number between 1 and 10, and n, the power of 10 there, has to be a whole number. So for example, these two numbers are in standard form. 2 is between 1 and 10. 4.53 is also between 1 and 10. And the powers on both of them are whole numbers. These two numbers aren't written in standard form. The first one, 91, that's not between 1 and 10. Hence, that's not standard form. And the bottom number, the power of 10 isn't a whole number. So again, that is not in standard form. So let's have a go at converting a normal number into standard form now. So here's the number 7,000. First thing to do is find the part of the number that isn't zero. So that's your seven. So this has to be times by 10 to the power of something. We've got to work out what that something is. Well, to get from seven to 7,000, there's a difference of three decimal places. So, it must be to the power of 3. Now these two numbers are exactly the same. If you did 7 times 10 to the power of 3 on your calculator, you would get 7,000. But the top one is written the normal way. The bottom one is written in standard form. Let's look at a slightly more complicated version now. So 62,300, we're going to change that into standard form. So again, we find the non-zero part so that's 623, we bring that down. Now we need to work out where to put the decimal point so that we have a number between 1 and 10. Well, if we put it there, between the 6 and the 2, we get 6.23. That's between 1 and 10, so we'll go with that. For standard form, it has to be times by 10 to the power of something. So again, we're going to work out what that something is. So here's the decimal point of 62,300. To get 6.23, we'd have to move four places. So in standard form, we have 6.23 times 10 to the power of four. Again, they are exactly the same number. The top one's written in normal form. The bottom one is written in standard form. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear shortly. So far we've looked at how we can convert large numbers into standard form. Now let's have a look at how to convert small numbers into standard form. So here we have 0 0.0005. We're going to change that into standard form. The first thing is exactly the same. We find the non-zero part, which is the 5. We know we've got to times by 10 to the power of something. So again, we look at how far we would have to move the decimal point to go from 0 0.0005 to get to 5. Well, there's a distance of four decimal places there, but we want to make 5 into a smaller number, so our power will be negative 4. So again, these two are exactly the same thing, but because we're making 5 into a tiny number, our power is negative. Let's try a more complicated example now. So we've got 0 0.00000208. So we find the non-zero part. So that starts with the two. 
we bring that down and again notice how I've put the decimal point in so that I've got a number between 1 and 10. So in standard form it must be times by 10 to the power of something so we've got to work out how many places that decimal point has moved and that's going to be our power. Well let's have a look it's moved six places to get from where it was to get to just after the two. Again we're making it smaller so our power is minus six. In standard form we've got 2.08 times by 10 to the minus six. Again those two are exactly the same number just written in different forms. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. The answers will appear at the end.